now for the Troop Tigers Kill the Grange Saturday morning quarterback show on Eagle 1023, WLAG 1240 AM, 96.9 FM, and online at eagle1023.com. Now live at the showroom of Kiev LaGrange, Greg Hicks and Coach Lynn Kendall giving you the inside scoop on Troop Tigers football. All right, uh, welcome here to Troop High Saturday Morning Quarterback. I'm Greg Hicks along with Coach Lynn Kendall. Uh, last night, uh, I think the fifth in a, a cross-county rivalry and um, you know, it started out a lot of hype. It just didn't come out the way we wanted it. But uh, a lot of improvement from the Auburn and the Redan scrimmage. And, you know, uh, I know the fans, we were just talking before we came on, you know, we're running the, what I would call the wishbone. But uh, I know you could, I want you to explain it to the fans kind of what your formation is. But uh, you had a couple guys with 100 yards rushing, and, and you'll take that any night. Well, uh, just leading up to the game, you know, had had a good week of practice. We um, – had a uh, great day at school yesterday. We had a couple of activities that uh, went on. Had a pep rally, pep rally. and um, you know the the uh, student body had this tremendous spirit, and you know just a big game like it should be against a cross time uh, cross town uh, rival uh, Callaway High School, and um, you know I, I think all the things that you expect there at the beginning of the game with the uh, the hype and the excitement and. Uh, the two teams just throughout the game, regardless of the score, getting after each other, all those things that you expect. But um, And you, you were asking about offensively, uh, you were asking me a minute ago, is that the wishbone that we're running? And, uh, you know, I, I guess it is. I, I mean, we, we don't <laughs> call it that. Um, but, uh, you, know, you know, with players sometimes you have to, you have to come up with different names. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, they think some things are old-fashioned. And uh, But it's it's a heavy thing type sit where we'll we'll run a you know extra tight end in there sometimes but uh you know we'll get a full back to uh two run half backs in there and uh, you know a lot of double lead type blocks and some counters and sweeps that come off of that and uh very very effective for us last night mm -hmm. uh at times now yeah. one of one of the problems that we have that we're working on is uh keeping that rhythm and w when we lose the rhythm we usually end up uh, stalling a drive mm -hmm. and we had two running backs last night um, Ricky Frazier and Daryl Dunlap had close to 100 yards apiece mm -hmm. uh, I think one had 99 the other had 92 mm -hmm. uh, you know over 200 al almost 250 yards rushing uh, last night and if you sustain those and put it in the end zone uh, you're going to have a good night and, and not not to mention the clock management aspect of it well, that's uh, one of the things that, that we noticed how quick the first quarter went by. You know, uh, you know uh, once you guys came out with the opening uh, drive and it just you look up and it's like, wow, the quarter's half over. And that's what you get with the ball control uh, ground game is that you're going to chew up a lot of clock. And, um, and but, you know, uh, I noticed guys like Wellington Callaway and, and uh, Levi Cornwell and Maury Swain and Mitch Mathis and – and uh, Kim Bay Billingsley, I mean, they they did a really good job last night overall uptown because you up front because you, when you get two guys with almost a hundred yards rushing out of the old fashioned wishbone, and I like to just refer to it as that, but uh, you know that's something to be said. You know, you tighten up your splits and and you it's just good smash mouth football. I told uh, Jack Mormon and Tony Walls last night, you know, in the Auburn scrimmage and then last week against Renan. Of course, we were sitting so far up in the nosebleed section last week, I didn't really hear a lot of pads popping. But last night, it seems like on both sides of the ball, both teams, it was just a physical ball game last night. And it's, it's one that I hadn't really seen in a while. It just, it's nice to see that just pads popping. It makes you feel good about the progress you're making. Well, you know, to your credit of both teams, very physical play. Um, you know, we're running uh, our heavy set type of uh, – Offense most of the night, not getting into the spread, and then of course Callaway is running their their eye offense uh, based offense and mm -hmm. doing much of the same thing. And um, you know, not not a lot of a lot of fancy tricky stuff, just just playing football and getting after each other. And you know, and from the spread standpoint, we know that Callaway has great speed and uh, you know can generate a, a really good pass rush. And 
and so um, you know we decided not to spend uh, too much time in the spread and uh, try to take advantage of some of the things that we could. Mm-hmm. Well, with that, uh, we want to thank Chick-fil-A on Lafayette Parkway for providing the biscuits every Saturday morning here on the Troop High Quarterback Show. Um, and we want to thank Kia of LaGrange. You know, we're here, and it, the you know, new year, and it looks like Coleman and, and Lynn, there's so many new decorations in the showroom, more new cars, and I'm excited to kind of see. And I think this year, Dad Gummit, we're going to take a test drive. Well, with that, you're listening to the Troop High Saturday Morning Quarterback. We'll be right back. Just would like to hear from Kia LaGrange. I'm inviting you to become part of our auto family. We're here to listen, understand, and give sound advice. If you're tired of lousy gas mileage or lack of versatility, I recommend the 2013 Kia Soul, awarded for quality by J.D. Power and Associates. The Kia Soul is a new way to roll and starts at only 14.4. Plus, you get Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Check us out online at kialagrange.com to help support your local economy. We're up in eight eight, so don't be late. Every day I'm shuffling. As a business owner, nothing compares to the sense of pride you feel when unlocking your business first thing in the morning. In this moment, it doesn't matter if you save money in 15 minutes. It doesn't matter if the business down the street has the same insurance you do. What matters is that your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind them have you covered. Auto Owners Insurance, the no problem people. The Mallory Agency, 301 West Harrelson Street, LaGrange. Visit them online at malloryagency.com. Mention LaGrange College, and the word one pops up a lot. Like, the student-faculty ratio is 11 to 1. That means plenty of one-on-one time with professors. Our students work for number one companies, earn Emmy and Grammy nominations, and they give back to their communities, which is wonderful. We are LaGrange College, one of the South's most affordable, highly ranked institutions. One visit, and you'll see why. LaGrange.edu slash journey. To all the high school seniors in Troop County, Collision Autocraft Auto Body Repair would like to salute you on your accomplishments. Now that you're driving, Collision Autocraft would like to offer these safety tips. Wear your seatbelt. Avoid talking on your cell phone while driving. Don't text and drive. And always keep your eye on the road. Collision Autocraft has too often seen the results of careless driving. Drive safely and have a bright future. Don't forget to like Collision Autocraft on Facebook. It starts with creamy, smooth DQ soft serve made from our secret recipe. Then we throw in cookies and candy and blend it all together to create the Dairy Queen Blizzard. There may be imitators, but we all know it's one of a kind. Except for right now, when you can buy one and get another for just 99 cents. Buy one Blizzard and get a second for only 99 cents. So now's your chance to get two of the one and only. So good, it's ridiculous. Dairy Queen of Troop County is where you can enjoy your next Blizzard on New Franklin Road in LaGrange. First and goal. They hand the ball off into the line. It's going to be Levante Truitt in and score. Touchdown, Tigers. Welcome back to Kia Showroom. Kia of LaGrange Showroom. Uh, Troop High Saturday morning quarterback. Todd, take it away. Tell us what you got going on at Kia here this Saturday morning. Hey, guys. Uh, number one, appreciate you guys here this morning. But uh, we've got a lot of good things going on today. Football's kicked off. It's a wonderful day, beautiful day. Hunting season's even kicked off this morning. <laughs> but come on, hunting. We got, uh, you need to come out here and hunt some of these souls. 169 <laughs> a month, guys. And uh, we're really pushing the soul this month. 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Got several to choose from. You need to come check us out. You know, I, I see these Kia Souls all over the road, and I'm thinking, I'm driving a big old Suburban, 15 miles to a gallon if I'm lucky. And you know those Souls have got to be somewhere around 35 to 40 miles a gallon. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's got to be somewhere around there. Well, a- absolutely. You know, the thing about it is gas prices now, in some cases, reach over $4 a gallon. I mean, you know, you can, like your Suburban, I think my what, about 90 to $100 to fill that thing up. Oh, uh, 150 get, Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Come out here and get this sold. You throw in about $35, you're good to go for about, I don't a know, month? based on years a month. That's exactly right. <laughs> 45 days of long uh, long travel there. <laughs> well, one good thing about my Suburban, it will pull my camper. Soul wouldn't. But while I'm out making my sales calls each week, uh, that Kia Soul would come in handy. And that's, I was just telling Coach Kendall, uh, looks like you got a new products on the show floor this, this year, new, new arrangements in the showroom. So uh, uh, I'm going to hold you to a test drive this year now. now that's fine. Uh, you know, we got several out right there to choose from. Go out there and get whatever you need. Uh, you know, put it in your garage, make sure it fits. I'm sure it will. And uh, it'll all look good in that, at the yard over there. Let's do it. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Todd. Uh, Coach Kendall, you know, we were 
um, getting back to troop football. But before we do that, let's go over some scores. Uh, last night, Alexander 6, McIntosh 21, Carrollton 42, Chapel Hill 12, Hardaway 48, Columbus 14, Stars Mill 17, Fett County 6. And, of course, uh, Thursday night, LaGrange 27, Harris County 13. I think it was 37-13. I don't have my reading glasses on. Sandy Creek last night, um, they just tore up Noonan 38-7. to And on Thursday night, Carver uh, handed Shaw a loss 18-13. to uh, Last night also, Heard County 37, Chattooga 12. Uh, Greenville, congratulations to the Patriots there over in uh, Meriwether County, the clash between Greenville and Manchester. Greenville comes out on top 7-6. to six. And then, of course, Lafayette Christian 34, Peoples Baptist 24. Uh, Coach, we, as we went to break, we were talking about uh, the offensive scheme and, and, and how the kids just – line up and just play smash mouth football and I told him I said you know it used to be three yards in a cloud of dust here now it's three yards in a cloud of rubber you know it's kind yeah, of this artificial <laughs> turf yeah that little uh, rubber sand is what I call it but you know there's a lot of people you know, and, and of course we couldn't hear it in the in the in the in the booth but you know the packed stadium last night what a tremendous crowd and and we appreciate all the fans coming out it's always nice to see you especially absolutely. when it's a community interest like that absolutely um but it, it was really good football. It's like Tony and I were talking about. If you're, uh, if you love just good old fashioned football, that was it. You know, neither neither team really tried to do anything fancy. You know, like you said earlier, you stay away from the spread. You wanted really wanted to trade uh, uh, ball control offense, and and that's what the ki- uh, the fans got. And and there were some times when you thought. Uh, you know, you, you once, once, twice I think you went for it on fourth and uh, and and a little bit, maybe three or four times. And and most of the time, you got your first down. I know at one time, we was like fourth and 17. We wound up getting a 24-yard run. So yeah. that's what the wishbone will do for you. It, it will. Um, you know, when you, when you have a, a double lead type situation coming in and you're able to get people up on linebackers, you know, in additional blocking the defensive line, um, you know, a lot of people think of it as it is at three yards in a cloud of dust. dust but actually uh, – you know, it has the potential to get gainers, 10, 15 yard gainers, uh, in between the tackles. Well, one of the things that I want to say about Ricky Frazier, um, <clears throat> and we had some people who don't normally see Ricky play or Daryl or really all the talent we had, but that he just had pointed out Ricky and just how much he, you know, even down at that time, it was 21 to 7, I think, just that, that 110% that Ricky gave you, just running up the middle, twisting, turning, fighting for every yard. And, and I said, you know, if you watch Big Daryl run, he looks like he's he's just kind of loping. He's he's very deceiving in his in his, uh, his speed. You know, he kind of he watches his blocks real good. He reads his pattern and he hits the hole. But um, Ricky will pick up a hundred yards. Not Ricky, but uh, Daryl. And you don't realize he's got it because he's not as at least he doesn't seem as quick to cut like like I say a Ricky or Lamonte Truitt. Right. Well, they're they're two different style runners, mm-hmm. uh, and. Two different body types. Uh, Ricky, uh, very physical runner last night. We were real proud of the way that he was running the ball. And, of course, Daryl's always a physical runner. And uh, at, a lot of times when you look at Daryl, uh, it, it seems like he's not moving that fast. But Daryl's stride is so large. He covers. He's, <laughs> he's running He's running much faster than, than you can even imagine because of the, uh, the ground that he can cover. And he also... Uh, he has a couple of nice moves. They're very subtle, and they don't really take him out of his rhythm. And, um, you know, two different style runners, uh, mm-hmm. both of them very difficult to tackle. Mm-hmm. I wanted to comment on um, the offensive line last night, and I noticed the fullback position. You had both uh, Dalton Hadley and Bruce Stanford filling in occasionally. But this particular play last night, I think it was in the third quarter, and it was uh, second or third down, and you had a little crossover sweep coming toward the troop sidelines. And I noticed that Miss Mathis kind of just shielded his player and really did a nice job. And there, see Bruce Danford just taking on his block and driving him 10, 12 yards off the ball, and it allowed, I believe it was Lamonte Truitt, to get out on the corner. And you just like to see that team effort taking their blocks, moving them downfield, opening up some running lanes. And, and it's just, just good to see that unit kind of starting to gel. And if it takes the wishbone to, to get that confidence and to make that engine run, then so be it. Uh, oh, yeah. They just look good. I, you know, you're talking about um, Bruce Stanford and Dalton Hadley uh, inserting them in, in, the, in the fullback position. And, 
they they are two of the uh, the most unselfish players that I've had the pleasure to coach in the uh, 25 years coaching and, and then uh, you know e even as a player that you know all the years that I played and been involved in football uh, they they would stand out you know as some of the, the most unselfish individuals that mm -hmm. I've had the pleasure to be around they uh, they enjoy blocking they enjoy hitting uh, you know, Bruce does a great job as a blocking back, and he has improved every year over the years. He has. And, uh, you know, uh, he carries the ball once in a while. You know, you have to throw him a bone <laughs> once in a while. And and, <coughs> and and when he does, he makes the best out of it. But mm -hmm. he understands that, that it, to run an offense, everybody has a role. And then, of course, he and Dalton both play uh, linebacker, <laughs> too, and uh, they're pretty good hitters. And if, and if you're – if you're looking to get hammered, um, you know, and you're looking for someone to do that to you, Dalton Hadley's the guy. Uh, yeah, they call him Hammerhead yeah, Hadley. Yeah, he uh, <laughs> he uh, he had some hits last night that were uh, uh, pretty stellar hits, not mm -hmm. just on defense but on on offense and also uh, uh, some special teams play as well. Right. well i tell you what, we're going to take a break, but coming back, I want to talk about that defense. We have not talked about it tonight. Um, I think we did a great job defensively. But let's talk about that after the break. You're listening to Troop High Saturday morning quarterback here at live at the Kia showroom of LaGrange. We'll be right back. Just like to hear from Kia of LaGrange. I'm inviting you to become part of our auto family. We're here to listen, understand, and give sound advice. If you're tired of lousy gas mileage or lack of versatility, I recommend the 2013 Kia Soul, awarded for quality by J.D. Power & Associates. The Kia Soul is a new way to roll and starts at only 14.4. Plus, you get Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Check us out online at kiaofthegrange.com and help support your local economy. We're up at 8 tonight, so don't be late. Every day I'm shuffling. In this moment, who has your back? Do you know the name of your insurance agent? Does your agent know your name? Or would you call a 1-800 number that connects you with who? Another state? Another country? Get a local independent insurance agent with auto owner's insurance. Someone you can call when bad stuff happens to your car, home, or business. In this moment, get an agent who'll protect you in that moment. Auto owner's insurance. The no problem people. Mallory Agency. 301 West Harrelson Street, LaGrange. Visit them online at MalloryAgency.com. Students at LaGrange College travel to places like London, Tokyo, and the jungles of Costa Rica through our Study Away commitment. First-year freshmen are provided a voucher worth up to $2,500 for an off-campus travel experience their junior or senior year. Attend college close to home and still see the world at LaGrange College. Learn more at lagrange.edu slash transform. To all the high school seniors in Troop County, Collision Autocraft Auto Body Repair would like to salute you on your accomplishments. Now that you're driving, Collision Autocraft would like to offer these safety tips. Wear your seatbelt. Avoid talking on your cell phone while driving. Don't text and drive. And always keep your eye on the road. Collision Autocraft has too often seen the results of careless driving. Drive safely and have a bright future. Don't forget to like Collision Autocraft on Facebook. It starts with creamy, smooth DQ soft serve made from our secret recipe. Then we throw in cookies and candy and blend it all together to create the Dairy Queen Blizzard. There may be imitators, but we all know it's one of a kind. Except for right now, when you can buy one and get another for just 99 cents. Buy one Blizzard and get a second for only 99 cents. So now's your chance to get two of the one and only. So good, it's ridiculous. Dairy Queen of Troop County is where you can enjoy your next Blizzard on New Franklin Road in LaGrange. Parks from the shotgun, going back up to pass. Got a little bit of pressure, throws it, and it's going to be picked off. Wow, what an athletic play. Players have picked off the ball. And that's going to be Malcolm Tatum who got up. Goodness gracious, he must have jumped four feet in the air to pull that one down. I don't think Parks saw him. Uh, Malcolm Tatum from his free safety position, playing center field, if you will, right between the hash marks, just kind of squatted down, and he jumped up and picked that ball out in the air at about the 26-yard line and is able to bring it back to the 41-yard line where the Tigers will take over. You know, that's one of the things that uh, we were talking about off the air is our defensive unit and how well they did. You know, we talk about Bruce Danford, Dalton Hadley, and, and I think of uh, Michael Tatum, uh, you know, kind of a unsung 
I don't want to say hero, but you don't hear his name a lot like you do some of the other big names. But he is steady at it. And, you know, Devontae Cofield last night, and uh, uh, I believe it, if, if that's who we're talking about, had a, had a little injury um, late in the game. Uh, Devontae Carter uh, just put a smack down on some folks. And we like that, but unfortunately you don't want to come away injured. And I noticed last night he kind of – I don't know if it's a cramp or what, but then R.J. Harrison – big kid you talking about a kid that has grown physically and oh, height yeah. Yeah. so much over the last two years he, he really has he's come a long ways physically and <clears throat> rj works hard and um uh, you know uh, got got a little banged up last night and uh carter and a couple other guys a uh, little a little bit banged up but and we had a few cramps too and little uh it, it was pretty humid last night, and, and the two days prior to that, the humidity level was super high. Probably, I, I don't even remember it being that bad during the summer phase. And uh, um, so, you know, we looked at that uh, last night after the game, talking about that, and uh, there's a number of things we're going to try to do to combat that uh, for next week. Um, but you're looking at the interception with, with uh, Malcolm, mm-hmm. uh, you know, he, he makes a great break on it. He catches it at the apex of the ball. I mean, he does everything you're supposed to do, comes down, secures it, and gets a nice little return as well. And uh, that's, you know, you, you, you can't draw it up defensively any better than what he's supposed to do on that play. That was a great play. You know, we talk about execution and doing it the right way. I, I noticed that, you know, on our punting team last night, uh, with the exception of a block punt, uh, Nick Bjork had two or three really nice punts, good coverage. Um, um, you know, and on the PAT, you know, Will Bates was able to, uh, you know, Trevor Spradlin grabbed it, planted it, Will put it right through the uprights. Those little things like that, you like to see that, that click and it work. Because if you're off on that, you know, one point can cost you a ball game. Sure. Uh, I mean, on the PAT, uh, because of uh, injury to our long snapper, uh, we had to insert a, uh, a player in there that has been working on it. But Hunter Beckham, was the first, t- first time he's played in the varsity game, he had to run out there and make a great snap on the, uh, really? the PAT. And, you know, everybody thinks that's you just take that for granted. And uh, there's a lot has to happen on a, on a uh, field goal or a PAT, and it's a – you know, there's four things have to happen. It's not just one person. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, he, he did a great job doing that as well. And and then when we get in, <coughs> excuse me, we get in that situation, there's a little over five minutes uh, left in the game. Uh, uh, it's 28 to uh, to seven. We go for the onside kick and uh, unfortunately don't get it. But, you know, we get the onside kick. We're still in business. Mm-hmm. And uh, been around a lot of ball games where uh, – you've even had less time and, and you come back and win a game or, or someone comes back and wins a game on you. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, when we, we got in that situation, we, we go onside kick and we know we're risking giving up field position and maybe getting the ball back. But, uh, you know, we, we still are, still have time to fight and we're going to continue fighting and trying to win a ball game. Mm-hmm. Well, in, in, in you practice that onside kick and you put your skilled athletes out there with the good hands. You, you definitely don't want to put the big uh, – yeah, the big – Lineman out there, you know, you, you want a kind of an RJ type kid that's going to go down there and smack the receivers out of the way. Sure, you got those you, guys and your defensive backs, yeah. and receiver types in there. Yeah, I I, I used to uh, you know wear little hand gloves when when I played years ago, and we pick at Tony about having leather helmets. We, I was a little later than that. We actually had helmets, you know, with face masks. But uh, that was my job on the onside kick. I was the third man in was to get down there and take that end guy out. And typically when we ran an onside kick, they didn't know we was going to do it. We just kind of hit a field goal to the sidelines, and they, they assumed we was going deep. We didn't set up for it. But uh, I knew one time I didn't get down there fast enough, and I got chewed out. The next time I got down there fast enough. Yeah, but, yeah the onside yeah. kick is something that it, it's a good tool uh, when it works for you. And like you said, you, you do risk giving up that field position. But at that time of the game, you had to take that. Oh yeah, That's certainly. What yeah, you absolutely. Do. Yeah, I'm, I mean, but overall, yeah, you know, if, if I, we we kick deep there, we're we're really just trying to we're conceding the game, and yeah. and that's not what we're about. Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, the officials ask you this every game, but uh, you know they 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 already know this during a region game, but the non-region games they have to ask you, okay. you know, coach, if it's a tie, do you do you want to play overtime? And you know, and uh, last night I joked with him, and I'm like. You know, we didn't get all dressed up for nothing. You know. 
and uh, you know, he said, "All right," you know, and and you know, we were in the same situation last year, and you know, that's it. it one of the teaching points of all this is to compete, to get yeah. in and to compete, and that you don't quit and you fight and and you. Uh, try to achieve and overcome and and you know sometimes it doesn't work out your way and sometimes it works out your way a whole lot mm-hmm. so um but i i would like to mention uh, our ninth grade uh team our ninth grade team opened up their uh, had their season opener this past week over in callaway stadium and uh played a very tough uh lagrange ninth grade and um was a was a battle back and forth with the uh, the grangers uh I believe winning uh, six to nothing going into the fourth quarter, if I have my stats right here. Mm-hmm. And and um, you know, talking about not giving up, I think within within the last four minutes of the fourth quarter, the game ends up with uh, the Tigers uh, coming back from behind and, and defeating uh, uh, Lagrange fourteen to twelve. So uh, you know, hats off to those guys and. Um, we got a we got a nice group of ninth graders that work well as a team, and um, you know, and part of that uh, hats off goes to Coach Benefield over at Long Cane Middle School uh, with our um, middle school program and, and the development that they have going on. And when we get these eighth graders here, they're they're, they're functioning as a team, and uh, you know, there's some talent there. But I, I think you, more important than the talent part is the uh, the unity they have and how much they work like a team and pull for each other and uh, function that way. Well, you know, I told you at the at the Auburn scrimmage, you know, business as usual. Your varsity shows it. Your obviously your ninth grade shows it. If you get behind, heads up, keep with the game plan, keep moving forward. It builds character. It shows how you handle adversity. So congratulations to the ninth grade team on that uh, that big win and that fight back. And, and even last night, uh, everything that happened, they get your guys just stayed focused and still worked hard all the way to the final uh, whistle. Uh, we got a big game coming up next Friday night at Callaway Stadium. You've got the Noonan Cougars coming in. That's right. I, I don't know when's the last time Troop and Noonan have played. It's been years uh, ago. It's been years. Uh, I, you know, not since I've been a, I've been a Troop for eight years, and I, you know, and since I've lived in in the Lagrange area, I don't remember them playing each other. So it, right. uh, you know, you you you've been a Tiger a lot longer than I have, and so if you can't remember, <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's been a while. And yeah. You know, a fine football program. Um, they coming off of a loss against Sandy Creek, and we know Sandy Creek's a fine football program as well. And uh, so, you know, we're going to – we've already started, not going to. We've already started, you know, once again. We're, we're back to work this morning and, right. and uh, you know, getting ready for the, uh, the Noonan game. It'll be a 7.30 kickoff next Friday night. And I uh, hope everybody comes out and supports your, your Tigers and – um, you know, we'll be uh, be ready for the Cougars. Uh, well, that's uh, it'll be the Battle of the Cats uh, next Friday yeah, night, Battle Callaway Cats, Stadium, yeah. uh, yeah, seven thirty. Uh, Coach Lynn Kendall is going to have his Tigers ready. I know we're going to be there on uh, Eagle Sports, Eagle Radio. You can catch the game on ninety six nine. Hey, I also would like to mention that uh, next Friday night against Noonan, Noonan is going to be Military Appreciation Night okay. as well, and there's going to be some. Uh, uh, celebration honoring uh, active and veterans as well. Uh, you know, we'll have a few extra things. Uh, uh, I believe active active duty uh, personnel will be uh, getting in free. And uh, please give the school a call at uh, 706-812-7957 for additional it. details. We'd like to see every veteran in uh, Coweta and Troop County and anyone else that's listening in the area to please come to the game uh, to honor you guys. And uh, I love, you know, being a, a former soldier myself, right. I love to honor these guys. I know what they go through. I know the sacrifice that everybody makes, whether it's happening right now or it happened 50 years ago. And uh, it's just a small token of what we can do uh, giving back to our uh, military personnel that serve our country. What a um, tremendous idea you guys have, and I'm sure these guys will show up and 
in numbers, and uh, we appreciate Troop High doing that for the, the community. We might even get Greg to uh, maybe jump out of a helicopter or something like that and bring That's the game ball. That's not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> just, just, just trying to offer you that opportunity, Greg. <laughs> I'm scared, I'll tell you. All right, uh, next Saturday morning here live at LaGrange, uh, Key of LaGrange Showroom, we'll be back with Saturday morning quarterback. Friday night football, 730 Callaway Stadium, Troop High School versus Noonan. Be there. We'll see you next week. Just would like to hear from Kia LaGrange. I'm inviting you to become part of our auto family. We're here to listen, understand, and give sound advice. If you're tired of lousy gas mileage or lack of versatility, I recommend the 2013 Kia Soul. Awarded for quality by J.D. Power & Associates, the Kia Soul is a new way to roll. and starts at only 14.4. Plus, you get Kia's 10-year, 100,000-mile limited powertrain warranty. Check us out online at kialagrange.com to help support your local economy. We're up in 88, so don't be late. Every day I'm shuffling. <laughs> for listening to the Troop Tigers Key of LaGrange Saturday morning quarterback show on Eagle 1023 WLAG 1248 969 FM and online at Eagle1023.com with Greg Hicks and Troop Tigers coach Lynn Kendall.